dream with me let your mind explore all the things we were created for possibilities and open door good morning y'all this is a brand new vlog first of all <laughs> justine has um I wanted to show you guys this house that we saw. This nice luxury house. How much was it? That one, I think, was like 1.4 or 1.2 yeah. or 1.4. Girl, out of our tax bracket for now. Uh, but we saw it and it was so nice. And I just asked Justine if she would like to go and look at it again. Because I want to show you guys. I didn't show you guys the last time. Um, so I'm getting ready to do a Walmart campaign. And Justine is going to help me out with it. Because I am a little behind on campaigns right now. I have three stacked up. And I thank God for them because listen when the money flows in there's no complaining so i thank god for them i just need to get on track with them but i wanted to show y'all real quick let me show you how rich justine is oh my she goes and gets who does this look at this she goes and gets what is it a key a key fob cover <laughs> a key fob cover people with audis do this look at this look at this what'd you get it from amazon yeah Oh my goodness. She didn't like the white, so she's getting it in black too. But I just want to show y'all how rich Justine is. So if ever she oh try to act like gosh. she's not amazingly wealthy, <laughs> then refer her back to this key cover. Because I have never... This one, this y'all probably y'all are more fabulous than I am, so y'all probably have done this. But honey, oh I have God. never thought to get a cover for my kid. They got the look. I already signed at the bottom. Like it's it's telling y'all, hey, look, I drive this. Oh my amazing. God. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay, so this was the setup this morning. I was doing my makeup. Justine came in as I am doing my makeup and watching Living Single because that's what we do <clears throat> when we're getting ready. And oh, come on, lashes. I need to put these back. I hate these lashes. They did not stick. From the Beast Supply? From, no, from Sephora. I've had Sephora lashes before and they were just fine. These? Both, all three, well, two, the both of them that I've tried, they did not stick in the corner, hmm. no matter how much glue I use. So you were having the same problem in Palm Springs with those. Yeah, those are the same ones for both of them. Oh yeah. No. Yeah, that's it's I'm gonna have to go back to the beauty supply store lashes, ninety nine cents anyway, right? A dollar ninety nine. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, okay. So we're gonna get started with our Saturday. Um, I'm gonna like I know you guys probably gonna ask about this mirror. I'm gonna do a whole office tour um, when I'm done. I actually just have to do the curtains and I need to get my rug cleaned and then I think that's it for the office. That's really all I have left. I have the curtains here like the actual sheer um, liners that I'm gonna use as curtains. It's gonna help as a diffuser for the light because the light is kind of harsh coming in here bouncing off the back of this glossy painted door so uh oh i said i'm almost done i also have to get something up here um like from head to curve or like a scripture or something up there and then just the curtain rod and then that's it we are about to head to walmart so we can work on this campaign and then we'll do some photos She was like in LA. She is in Austin, Texas. Oh. Is this what you want now? Feels like you're looking for something better. Uh huh. Uh huh. Is this what you want now? Or is it because you can't forget her? So we just got finished with the Walmart campaign. I actually forgot to show you guys what I'm wearing. I'd already shown you this Spanx set. It's like a romper. And these are the same sandals from um, Target. So let me show you real quick. Disregard the filming equipment. I keep this out because who feels like putting it up every single time? 
I have to do a reel or TikTok or something. So these, this is the um, Spanx romper that I showed you guys like a few videos ago. And yeah, very comfortable. It feels very good. It has a lot of stretch, a lot of spandex in it. I'm wearing the 3X. Um, it doesn't creep up a lot. It, I feel comfortable in it because you know how I've been feeling about having like my thighs out. And I also just use my uh, chafe and moisturizing cream between my thighs. I did that during a whole vacation and did not chafe once. I felt very comfortable walking in shorts without, you know, feeling like my legs were rubbing together too much or something like that. And we were in a lot of heat. So yeah, that I have on the romper and then these dad sandals from Target. I never thought I would like dad sandals until I saw them on Justina Bean's feet. And I was like, yes. I want some and I went and got some I think the next day. But yeah, here's the full outfit. We are about to go to that house that's out of our tax bracket for now and look at it because there's nothing wrong with a little motivation and I have been wanting to show you guys a luxury home lately. So when we found that one, we were like, bet. Um, really nice house. So we are gonna go check that one out really quick and get on with our day. So here is the one Point four million dollar house which doesn't look like it on the outside but looks like it on the inside so one second okay so we're about to walk to the front door oh. Oh, okay <laughs> you're fine okay because remember last time when we was walking to the front door so and Deanna kept going slow she was scaring me <laughs> oh so pretty Okay, so front door, very nice. Look at the hall. This very tall office. Like who is gonna dust and change those light bulbs? Looks very nice. Double doors. I didn't even see this the last time. Yeah, the I, mean, scene. I was like, something looks different. Was that there? I don't know. I don't remember it. I don't remember these either. Huh, I don't. Not added some stuff, okay. Now we gotta go through these pipes. I love the built-in though. Yeah. Oh, sorry, we had to take a quick break for some IG story content. But yes, there is the office. Very nice tall office. Come around here, you have a nice guest bath or whatever this main bath would be called loving the mirror love the floors very nice and tall very very tall ceilings and then right across over hither there is what would be your garage some of y'all talking about y'all gonna move to houston who gonna buy this house so i can come visit here is the beautiful laundry room. Love this. Love it. Um, love that it has a sink too. I love these built-ins. Here's just the full view of that. And we will go upstairs in a minute, but this is what see when you get to the staircase get a nice little nook underneath the staircase with another built-in they're really taking advantage of these built-ins and here is a nice little courtyard area in the middle of the house so that is an actual bedroom and I love that this is open and how they did the um, accent wall over there So there's the door to the courtyard. I think this is a coat closet.
MTV Cribs? Yeah. Well, they might as well because this is that's how I get my fix. <laughs> that's what exposed me to the bigger houses anyway. The funny thing was like four or five things in there. <laughs> I was like, you couldn't go grocery shopping before you. <laughs> but <laughs> oh gosh. So this is the 600k home, which is very nice. And of course, like you said, this is the office, and that would be the garage when you actually purchase it. So yeah, let's go on the inside ports. <laughs> So here is the front door. I know I gotta keep straight. Love how big. This wasn't? The bench was not here. They just be adding little benches here and there. Love how big this hallway is. I don't remember that restaurant for some reason. I don't either. Did they just plug this in? That's what I'm like. <laughs> like I don't remember it. Oh my goodness. I remember this room. I remember these two rooms. I don't remember that. It's a nice little guest room. Oh, oh closet on this side. And then you have this room. And I like that this closet has a window in it. Mm -hmm. Bringing some light into the situation. I would actually put a full body mirror in this closet. Where? Oh, on the other side? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just hang it up. Yeah. Give me a little doorstop. Come on, doorstop. Well, we really don't need because It has one at the back of it, I think. Yeah, it does. Fan. I really love how wide the hall is. Mm -hmm. This, this what got me. Got the laundry room over here. Room. I, would I don't that. know what this would be if it was. It would be that the, would be the garage door. That would yeah. be the same thing because of the speaker system through the house. Okay. I would just get a, uh, another door with it. Close, yeah, not open. I don't know why I thought this one had a sink. And there's this beautiful. Remember we talk about two benches here? Yeah. If you like some overflow for a party. Overflow seating. Love this office. I love the doors. Double doors. And then nice window. They have their... But over here is... Girl, I don't remember this room either. I remember this one. Nice. En suite. Another room. Hello. It's like tucked off. It's quiet. Ceiling fan. <laughs> Movie room with double doors. So this one has a dimmer too. Baby, that, uh, that dimmer make it real drastic. It's cute. Yeah, it gives some contrast to the situation. Mm -hmm. This is the cor cork is the name of it. This is what I was talking about. Yeah. Yeah, I would do this because I think we said that this could have been longer because mm -hmm. it like just ends right here. And it's just so much space that could have been added but it's a nice kitchen and a nice dining room and this has like a mini size of like the sliding doors like are on the other in the other house try I don't know if it's I don't know if these are called trifold or or just whatever actually fold yeah love that and then you got another door over here. This is a nice size too. I love it. I mean, like, we ain't got to be all up on top of each other. All the things. I'll be looking at new houses like I'm about to buy one real quick. This is so fun. It's so 
exciting. And look at just how wide and spacious that is, just looking down there. Now we're going to the master suite. Turn the corner. Loving the bench couch. I don't know what this is called. This wasn't here though. It wasn't? I don't remember. This mirror? I think it was a different mirror. Oh, okay. <laughs> I love how they had a king, have a king size bed in here and still have plenty of room for this at the end of the bed and still plenty of walking space, which is perfect. It's a really good size house. Like you don't have to spend a million dollars to get a great size house. So this is in the sixes. I don't know if I said that earlier, but I'm going to reiterate. A nice size tub, nice floors, which are probably an upgrade. I would also want heated, heated floors in my restaurant. Oh, fancy, fancy. I told y'all she rich. She got, oh my God. She got key covers. She want heated floors. Okay. Well, I'm already spending 600 throwing up. Hello. <laughs> throw, throw that extra five in there. And heat the floors. floors real quick. Because this is a, you'll probably use them 2% of the year in Houston. I just feel like floor mats would just mess it up. I feel, I feel you on that. And then another closet over here. I think this is the his closet because it's little. He don't ever get that much space in this fine. Yeah. And then a linen closet, I'm guessing. And this the house. This is our hobby. It's a great healthy hobby to it's have. It's a great healthy hobby. And to kind of expose you to more so you don't ever feel like you have to stay in one lane. Get your house, you feel good, and your two or three hundred dollar house, you're like, huh, let's expand the family. Let's move up to four, five, six, get into something like this, and you're like, huh, need a little bit more space. Talk about getting a dog. Get you a 1.4 million dollar home. It's nothing. I don't think there's anything wrong with this habit. We should go test drive Range Rovers next. Oh my gosh. I have always wanted to go test drive my just a car that I like, and I want a range. Justine has just given us a great That's a new, oh, another vlog idea. See what happened when I test drove an Audi. You, t you just went and test drove it? Well, I was looking at them and I drove it and was like, this is the one. And I've been looking at Nabella. I don't know if she's an influence. Child, I just, her and how she be cleaning hers. I'm like, oh my gosh, I wanna clean mine. I want a range. It's one of the cars I like. Just ain't gonna have me just driving off the lot in the rain. Her daddy went and got an oil change and got a whole new car at least twice. He did it once. <laughs> I feel like he's, he's in, he hasn't done it twice. No, he's come back with newer cars and we're like, what happened? And he's like, I just wanted a new car. The first time he was like, they just gave me a good deal, so I got it. <laughs> the second time he was actually getting oil change, had no intention. Came back he has to come with us to this range because if I'm gonna get talked into something, I need to get talked into a good deal. Apparently, he be getting good deals. His number one line, him and my mom, number one line is, if you're gonna pay for it, you might as well get what you want. That sounds like my mama. She says the exact same thing. You pay for it, get what you want. Girl, get it. You, you got it? Look, slides card. You got it? Go ahead and get it. <sighs> Just nice. Nice, spacious home, guys. Okay, we're gonna mosey on out of these people's house. <laughs> <laughs> okay, y'all. Let me catch up with y'all before my camera dies. I am actually doing a little bit of work now. Um, just editing the video and the pictures that me and Justine just got for Walmart. And right now I'm sitting up watching Urban Legends. Me and Felicia was talking about if you're new here, Felicia's my sister, my older sister. Um, we were talking about like looking at the old 90s um, like horror movies. I came across Urban Legend. Come on, Urban. I came across Urban Legend today and asked, I watched it and now I'm watching the final cut as I'm like doing some editing. So girl, this whole thing is a, a trip to look at these older movies and be like, hmm. I was really into this. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty good to like watch and be like, oh my gosh. But, you know, keep it at bay. You know what I'm saying? Based on the movies of today. So I'm gonna finish up that 
probably let this charge before it cuts me off and um, I will be back with you guys so I have actually kind of blew this vlog a little bit because I needed to charge the camera it was about to die and so it's a lot um, <laughs> that I did not really show you guys I you know I really don't have a lot going on right now honestly um, so I'm glad I did get a chance to show you guys some of the luxury, the, those luxury homes that we looked at because otherwise there probably wouldn't have been a vlog this week. <laughs> so yeah, I got some, um, uh, got some groceries from Walmart, uh, for my order from Walmart. And one of the things that I got, um, well, I didn't get this from the order, but I actually did go ahead and get me a blender that matched my um kettle from the beautiful collection at walmart so so glad i got that and then oh another toy i got is this this is actually the smart clean robovac 2000 so i got that from walmart as well it, this again those items have nothing to do with the walmart order that i got i actually got groceries in the walmart order but um the vac was actually on sale like you know walmart has that wow and now section where you can go there or on their rollbacks and look and like at whatever it is that's in the section and get like really good deals so you know the um those little irobot vacuum cleaners stuff like that usually like four or five hundred dollars good that was 95 bucks so you know <laughs> and then you know how bugs be creeping in sometimes um in the house every now and then or just like everyday stuff it's good to have like one of those things going around the house um and kind of getting it the sweeping up just any debris and stuff on the hardwood so that is perfect it can do carpet too i just necessarily wanted it to do the hardwood the main living area and the hallways so yeah i'm glad I got that. Oh, and I got this little tray. I haven't gotten some other things that I ordered online, but I get, did get this little tray for the kitchen. Just, I have a cookie jar that's coming um, because I, of course, with the groceries, I got some Biscoff cookies because I really love Biscoff cookies. Um, so this is like something that I got for the counter for the, like a, a little handle and the cookie jar and something else I got for here, but I don't remember what it is, but yeah, waiting for the other things to come in from that Walmart order. I also influenced myself to sign up on the Walmart Plus membership. So I did that last week because I already shop Walmart a lot. And so I was like, might as well just be saving on gas and stuff like that and uh, shipping and grocery delivery and all that other stuff that you already do. Um, so that's what I was doing. That's I went ahead and signed up for that, I think. It was like either last week or the week before that. So it's been a little bit. But yeah, I'm just actually getting ready to kind of wind down today. I'm watching Virgin River. They came out, I don't know when the fourth season came out, but girl, I had to go back a little bit because you know, when they take so long with these seasons coming out, you forget what the heck happened prior to. So this is like a nice wholesome-ish show. So it has like a little bit of wholesome drama, you know, wholesome drama, you know, like more, you know, more than Seventh Heaven, but not, you know, Real Housewives. So it's it's a really good show. So I'm getting ready to watch the fourth season of it. I'm on the um, 10th episode of the third season, kind of trying to understand what the heck happened before, um, before I get into the new season. And tomorrow we're having like a little um, organization party at my mom's. So I am bringing stuff for nachos. So I already got that in my groceries and um, I need to make the meat. So. Me and Tierra mostly prefer chicken with our nachos. Mostly everybody else prefers beef. So of course you have to make two meats. <laughs> it's like, <gasps> why? <laughs> but and I say that as if I'm not one of the ones that prefer something else. But I can eat ground beef on my nachos. I'm not picky, Tierra is. <laughs> but I will um, go ahead and make the, it's gonna be easy. You just have to ground the brown the ground beef. And then I got like fajita chicken, it's frozen. So it's just like, heat that up really that's it probably chop it up a little bit or have them to chop it up i don't know 
Um, and then kind of heat up the cheese and just make sure that's fine to take over there tomorrow. So yeah, I really don't have anything else going on tonight, but just relaxing and chilling. So I know this vlog was super short. Sorry. <laughs> like I, I know it was super short, but when more things go on over here, I'll definitely, of course, be adding that into vlogs for you guys. You, you heard just they talk about us going and doing like test driving Range Rovers. That is my, one of my dream cars. I don't have a lot of dream cars, but just like one of the ones I would like. Maybe we'll do that one day. Not next week, probably not the week after. So <laughs> just one day. <laughs> um, so yeah, things are winding down over here. Really have nothing else to say. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, and you enjoyed looking at the houses. It's been a while since I've like, we did like a model home tour or whatever. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. And all the people that are like me and your hobby is like looking at model homes or looking at homes online and going and looking at open houses. It's just something you like to do because I do really love it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that and enjoyed this vlog. Um, I don't know if I have anything to link. The few things that I got from Walmart, I guess I can link those. Um, and anything else you want links to, shout them out in the comments. I'll go ahead and provide you the links for, for it. And also, Amazon store. Check that out. I have an Amazon storefront of all of the things I get from Amazon linked in the storefront. So you can check that out too if you want to see all of my decor or just regular home stuff. It's like a few fashion things in there because I don't buy a lot of fashion stuff from Amazon yet. I just haven't tried it, but I'm going to. Give me a little bit. <laughs> I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. If you're not subscribed and you enjoy plus size vlogs, plus size fashion tips and videos, and one day we're gonna get into some more travel, um, definitely subscribe. I would love to have you guys here and chat with you guys every week in the comments. So I love y'all. Thank you so much for all of your support. Hope you have a great rest of your weekend and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.